Years ago, I started climbing at the Obed in Tennessee at a really small but amazing area called the Lily Boulders. I kind of grew up climbing there, going there every day after school or after work or basically whenever I could make it out, trying to climb basically as much as I possibly could. After a while, I started to become more into climbing knowledge, and I started to learn more and more about the area and what had been done there. I started to hear stories of a kind of a legend type named James Litz and all the hard problems that he had established there. Problems like Chinese arithmetic and Tilted World which were two of the hardest boulder problems that had ever been climbed anywhere, let alone just at this small area. Out of the two problems, the only one that I was actually able to complete was Tilted World. It suited my style perfectly and was kind of just the perfect boulder. Chinese arithmetic, on the other hand, was one of the hardest boulder problems that I had ever tried and still is. It revolves around super small holds and really bunchy feet. I became really psyched on the boulder but just couldn't really get it done. I would try it over and over but I would basically split my fingers within a few tries. So the process went, you know, go to the problem, try it maybe three or four times, split my finger, rest three or four days, come back and do the same thing. And this lasted on, almost Jimmy. over a month on, and it. It. I never got it done. Oh. Fast forward now almost four years later and it's funny because even though I'm 2,000 miles away from where I originally began climbing, I still find myself trying to repeat some of the most amazing lines established by James Litz. Sending Warpath was definitely one of the most amazing experiences in my climbing. I'm really not sure why, but the boulder became super mental for me. I fell off the last move multiple times, and when I finally did it and pulled through to the top, I felt like I could do anything. 